Welcome back to another Teacher of the Year profile. We're speaking with Shaney Best, who is the Teacher of the Year 2016 for the Galt Joint Union High School District. Congratulations and thanks Thank for you. joining us. Thank you very much. So tell us about yourself. Tell us you know, the name of your school and tell us what you teach. Okay. Um, I teach at Liberty Ranch High School, which is in Galt, and I teach Sculpture One, um, kind of an advanced sculpture and an AP 3D design class. So tell, tell me about that because you're talking about two different things. You're talking about hands-on, using your hands with materials, and then you're talking about total opposite of using computer, computer skills. Actually, no. AP 3D really? design is okay. a, um, it's just kind of a fancy word for a 3D class. So everything we make in the class has to be three-dimensional. So it is still very hands-on. Oh, so, so and, tell me how that works. Um, well, AP um, is a great class for anybody that wants to go on into the arts. Um, it has to be a student that's highly motivated because um, they have to do a lot of work out of class. Um, I'm just kind of a facilitator, you know, obviously I'm teaching them new techniques, but a lot of the times they kind of come in with an idea and I'm just pushing them in the right direction. They have to produce a large amount of work um, and it kind of introduces them to what a college class would be like. So describe some of the projects that they do and how they do them. What materials do they use? Um, they, anything that can be three-dimensional, really. Um, they recycle stuff, that's a big thing right now. Um, but obviously we use clay, we use wood, we use stone, wire, um, a multiple uh, materials. Um, and also putting different materials together. Um, as far as projects or um, lessons, they have to do it in concentration. So um, a student will have to come up with a theme. So I had a student a couple years ago that did it on twins. She was a twin. Mm -hmm. So every project in her concentration had to do with twins. And she started something basic and had to show how it growed. Not only does she have to show it in her artwork, but she also has to show it in her writing. She has to write about the artwork too. So they have, it's, it's kind of encompassing different disciplines, not just the, the artistic part, but also the verbal. And well, yeah, you have to yeah. be able to justify it. You have to say what was successful about it. What was the process that you went through to get this? Um, how did it change? How did it grow? So what do you do with those students who, who say, well, I'm not really artistic. I don't know if I can do this. I don't want to want to do this. Uh, that's a really, that's, I, want, I don't want to say it's common, but it is a common thing. A lot of students come in and they're kind of fearful of the arts. It's something different, especially in our district. We, none of our feeder schools have an, an actual visual arts class. So unless they've taken something through the city um, or just have a special interest in it, they may have no experience at all. So uh, for the most part, I just try to be really encouraging and tell them that art is just like any other class. It can be learned. So in math, you start out with your um, subtraction, your plus, your minuses, all of that. Same thing with art. We start out with the basics and we work our way up. And if they just will basically try the different techniques, they can learn it just like anybody else. And I love it when students say that because it's almost like a challenge. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. So you think you're not creative? Let me show you. Mm -hmm. You know, let me show you how creative you can be and that creativity that's inside you that you don't even know. So you see their eyes really open up when yeah, they yeah. realize that they can, can do this. Absolutely. And then what about what about the, the, the students who definitely have a lot of artistic skill so then you really have to push them? Well yeah, um, that's what I'm there for. I'm there mm -hmm. to push them, um, say okay well you have a little bit of background so now let's take this a little bit farther. Let's see what else you can do with this project. So yeah, I mean that's that's another part of it too. Um, some students come in with a little bit of um, background and maybe they've went to another school where they did have an art class. So that makes it more fun to me. And the good thing about art is you can really tailor the different levels. Um, those students that are ready to can go on can go on and those that need the baby steps, I can help them with that too. Let's talk about art in general as part of curriculum, as part of kind of the school community. There was a long period of time it seemed where it was really forgotten. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I think we're making our way back now to people realizing not just STEM but STEAM, the A in STEAM of it being art. Talk about the swing that you've seen over the years. Yeah, I started teaching in the kind of mid-90s and um, it seemed like at that point, I mean, Art wasn't hugely valued, but there was definitely money being put into it. Um, and, you know, I think there were enough studies out there showing what art did for a student as far as critical thinking and things like that. Um, but then, you know, the economy crashed and we were the first ones to be cut. 
Um, so there was no extra money out there for new art classes, things like computer design or photography, things like that. Those things were all being cut. And then, you know, even just our basic supplies, there wasn't money for that. Um, at our school, we get donations a lot of time from parents, but when a parent's out of work, we're not even getting donations. So, um, yeah, there's definitely been a downside to being an art teacher. However, in the last few years, I see the money coming back and people are like, wait a minute, you know, art is what's keeping, or you know, all of those elective classes, sports, that's what's keeping kids in school. So um, I think that people are starting to see the value again and I hope it keeps going in that direction. And, and what kind of an attitude do you see in the students when, when they know that, that art is getting more of an emphasis now than before? Well, yeah, and kids, even more than me, know that there are so many art jobs out there. I mean, I have so many kids coming to me and saying, oh, well, I want to go into graphic design, I want to go into industrial design. They see those jobs out there because they're on the computers all the time. Um, so I think they see the value even more than some of the administrators um, in the different districts in my area. Do you see a lot of students going from working with their hands to knowing they can do more and then doing something electronically? and trying yeah. to meld the two it's together. It's the creative yeah. thinking. Yeah. You know, it's all, it's all about the thinking and being able to think differently, um, to think of something that no one else has thought of. So just because you're taking a sculpture class doesn't mean that you're not going to be creative in other ways. So it all crosses over. Mm. Yeah. So what motivated you to be a teacher in the first place, especially an Let's art see. teacher? <laughs> <laughs> well, art did. You're an art. Yeah, yeah, I love art. I mean, um, I, I've always had this you know, feeling inside of me that I wanted to create and I wanted to do art. Um, I don't know that I always wanted to be a teacher though. Mm -hmm. um, I always wanted to do something very creative. It's just a part of my soul. I'm constantly doing it. If I'm not, then I'm not happy. Um, but being an art teacher, that was a totally different um, avenue that I didn't realize that I would end up going to. Um, education, for me personally, was not easy. I have several learning disabilities. Um, so art was that one class that really made me proud of myself. It kept me in school, um, made me excited to be there. Um, you know, other people saw what I was doing and they were like, ooh, that's cool. Um, so art was that avenue that kept me in school. And from there, I just stuck with it and I got help for the learning disabilities that I had. And then there was a part of me that wanted to give back and be there for somebody else. And I try to do that so much. I try to give any students that have any kind of disabilities, let them know that art is for everyone. It does not matter, you know, your socioeconomical uh, background, doesn't matter, you know, if you're a special ed student or if you're valedictorian, um, art is something that you can do and something that will enrich your life. Oh, and so since, you know, you had some difficulties and challenges in school and, and art kind of became your outlet, you feel that that's a way that you can teach students to use that as an outlet as well. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It can be a place for them. It can be a way that they can speak. Um, you know, art is, um, and it can be an emotional thing, so it's a way to get emotions out. It's a way to say something that maybe you wouldn't say to someone in person. You know, art has so many avenues. So what does it mean to you to be a Teacher of the Year? Um, well, I'm very, very honored. And I think that um, I wish, well, let's put it this way. Um, teaching is a lot like being a parent. It's a thankless job. Um, and you don't really know how you touch a student. Um, I've been fortunate that I've had hundreds of students over the years that have kept in contact with me. So a lot of times I hear you know, how they've went on or how I was there for them. Um, but being a teacher, I can't imagine being anything else, to be honest with you. It's been so rewarding, and I really think that the students have made as big an impression on me as I have made on them. They make me a better person. And so as a teacher, do you still take time to create on your own when you're oh, not in class? absolutely. I think that's so important. I create, I do classes. Um, I'm constantly doing artwork. I'm bringing it in. I'm showing my students. I think that validates what I do to them. Um, so yeah, I, I'm always doing artwork. And I have a million projects that someday when I retire that I will finish. <laughs> you have a garage filled with yes. different things. Yeah. Someday. Yes. yes. Someday. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. We thank appreciate you. you speaking with us. We've been speaking with uh, Shani Best, who is the Teacher of the Year 2016 for the Galt Joint Union High School District. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.